Hi, it's Brickzar, and I got a very special Lego review today. I was so happy to get this set yesterday, and we've already built it. It's set 4 million and 7. Old Kirk's house, 910 pieces from 2012. Yes, that's set 4 million and 7. This is a special Lego set. It is a uh, special gift to Lego employees. It has the model of um, old Kurt Christensen, the founder of Lego's house, which was used as a headquarters, so to speak, for Lego for a while. And I'll go into some more of the history of it and show you the photograph that compares to this model here. So this is the box that you get. It's a very nice box, like uh, not quite as sturdy as some of the architecture sets, but just about. And so let's show you the set. All right, here it is. Old Kirk Christensen's house. And we'll just do a quick overview here. Here's the back of the house. the other side. Now when you first look at this it may look kind of small, not very um, hard to build, but let me tell you it is a very interesting build and what I'm going to do is at the end of the video I'm going to just show a few snapshots of pictures I took while I was building it. Uh, they had some very interesting building techniques using the jumpers um, the windows and the headlight bricks and uh, the way they, they built the doors. These are um, uh, brick built doors. Uh, the way the windows were made. It's just, um, and even having these angles for the bay windows. And it's a very cool build. In fact, it was one of the most interesting builds I've done. And I would say I thoroughly enjoyed building the set. And go back to the box. It says for ages 10 and up, and I can see why. I mean, it was challenging. Um, we're going to be reviewing the um, Pet Shop um, later, that uh, modular set. And it's for ages 16 and up, but me and my son were commenting. We think this one was actually a little harder <laughs> than the Pet Shop. It was a little more challenging um, because um, I'll show you in the instruction manual in a minute. But um, here's some old pictures, and this is a picture here. Of the house without the uh, sticker in it <laughs> and here it is with the sticker so you see some you got some photographs on here around the house you can see it there you see people working you see old Kirk and his son Godfrey there with a the Lego house but I'm um, not sure about this the Danish words here on here, Fabriken, Lego, and Legetaj, I don't know how to say those, but this is a very, very cool house. Um, so let's look at the instructions. Okay, with this set you get two instruction manuals, one and two, and they're a little higher quality than regular Lego instruction manuals, but not quite as thick as, or not nearly as thick as like with the architecture sets or the master Builder Academy sets, but they're still very good quality. And on the back of each, you have in the different languages the history of the old Kirk house, and it talks about uh, how old Kirk Christensen got into this carpentry business, and he had a house that burned down, and then he um, had a, this, the house known as the Lion House, was designed by, um, what does it say here? It had two lions guarding the front door. And it says, by the standards of the day, the house was large and attractive, and he had to rent out some of his space. And that's what I was thinking when I was building this. It, was, it, was such a, it probably was such a large house for that time. And then uh, there was a fire that broke out, but it burned the factory down, but not the house. And so, until 1958, the house was both the family home and the toy company office. And then Godfrey, um, Kirk Christensen, the uh, son of old Kirk, 
uh, had to expand. They couldn't just run the business out of this old house. And that's when they started doing that expansion. And then Old Kirk, he died in 1958. So he, there you have a picture of him with the Lego bricks, which started in the 50s. Sadly, he died in 1958. And so it's been still standing there. It was renovated in 2002, and the Lego company bought it back. It had been sold, but then they bought it back. So a very neat house, and this nice little history there uh, on the book. You can ask me if there's more information. But anyway, I don't know. Um, the set is just awesome. It's, um, I love the roof. I love uh, the build. In fact, the first few layers... and get a better look at this it's your you know I'm used to building a, a house out of Lego bricks and you're you're basically building it with bricks but this one you start building it with plates the first level is plates and then you see how it's kind of offset here that's um, with the jumpers you kind of offset it so very cool and I like how they built the brick built doors and you got you had a ton of uh, Technic one by one pieces that you put a, um, a half pin in it and that's how you supported these these tiles running up and down the side you'll see those in the pictures I'll have at the end of the video there's a ton of windows in here and I love the bay windows with the corners um, there's an interesting build there and all this Part here under the roof. See, the roof actually overhangs a little bit, if you can see it there. So everything's kind of ha half a stud off as you go up. It's really neat how they did it. Um, so the first level was the most tedious to build. A very cool house. It, it, it makes me want to work for Lego. I mean, it's just it's such a quality product. This um, this this house here one of the most fun buildings I've ever built out of Lego and these run anywhere from about 275 to four or five hundred dollars depending on what you're willing to pay it's better to buy them used and here's a closer look at the stickers they actually had you put in these stickers on at the end which was actually a little harder to put them on. I had to take that window off to kind of get that one leveled up, but these were, they're not on there perfectly, but um, they match it really good. Just a really cool house. My son said, I wish the door opened. It's, all that is is some of those log bricks there and then some trans clear pieces on top of that. But I thought I'd give you a lot of good looks at this, this is a very special house. There's the back door. I like, I like how they did the glass there. All that is is one by ones stacked on top of each other. One by one clear pieces. And these are one by three bricks. Everything's offset. It's just, it's just neat. All through here, it's offset by half a stud. And then here as well, just using those jumpers. Just a ton of jumpers. A ton of one by one Technic bricks and a ton of jumpers in this set and a lot of tiles a lot of windows a lot of roof elements and if you're going to have a, a, a lego building based out of denmark it's got to have the red roof i mean the red roof tile 45 degree roof tile not roof tile roof slope is um just just a traditional lego piece it's been around for a long time so it's cool that they got this <clears throat> with a ton of these slopes and it seems when you're building it, sometimes it seems kind of flimsy, but it's sturdy once you get it done. So this was a just, how many times I can say it, it's just a cool build. So what I'm going to do now is let you look at some of the pictures I took as I was building it. I may narrate it, I may not, we'll see. But anyway, uh, just awesome set. They set 4 million and 7, Old Kirk's House, 910 pieces, Lego exclusive, hard to find.